Hello, my name is Mrs. Cunnington and today I'm going to take you through GCSE Media Studies and what to expect if you choose Media Studies as an option. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Uh, and let's have a look at a quick definition. So, the media, it refers to the different channels we use to communicate information in the everyday world. What this means is that if you choose media studies in your lessons, you'll be exposed to a range of different media texts from film, TV shows, music videos, advertisements, newspapers. And it's not just about watching uh, TV shows every day, unfortunately. You will learn about um, media institutions, who these um, media texts are aimed at, how they were created. For me, the most fun part about media studies is learning about the common conventions. So you'll never watch a TV show or a film in the same way again. You'll learn about camera angles, lighting props, uh, and the meanings conveyed. So let's just take you through the different units uh, and how they are assessed. So unit one, exploring the media. Now you'll see that this is worth 30% of the qualification, uh, and it is a, a one hour, 30 minute exam. So in your lessons, you will learn about representations of genre and events in advertising, video games and newspapers. And then you will uh, be tested on this in an examination. You will have um, a one step based question uh, and this will be um, assessing what you've learned throughout your lessons uh, based on the different media texts that you've studied. You will also look as part of that um, course, that unit uh, is music. So you will study a range of different music magazines, you will watch music videos, and again, this section of the exam will assess your knowledge and understanding of media language, representation, and audiences. The second unit um, is all about understanding TV and film. Um, so the first unit, section A, uh, Wales on television, we have chosen Gavin and Stacey. So you will be watching some of those episodes, but you will also look at the media language used um, and you will build up a knowledge of how this TV show is created and you'll be assessed on this in an exam. And there is one question linked to that. The other part of Unit 2 uh, is about contemporary Hollywood film. And we haven't quite made a decision yet about um, the types of film that we're going to study. We have an option there. Um, you'll see that the Harry Potter series is, is one of the options, uh, the DC Marvel films as well. Um, so, so watch out for that. We haven't quite made our choice yet. But you will look at, uh, again, media audiences, media language, uh, and you will be tested on your understanding of Hollywood film. Uh, in an exam, and you'll see that there that it's 30% of the qualification and a one hour and 30 minute examination. Um, this all builds to um, the controlled assessment, or some of you might think of it as coursework. It's called non-examination assessment. Uh, the, this, these are done in class, okay? And unit three is worth 40% of the qualification, and this is you creating a media product. This will be print-based, so this will be a magazine, and you will take it from the research stage, um, looking at different magazines and how they are constructed, how they use image and language. You will choose um, the, the, the genre or the target audience that you want to um, create your magazine for, and then you will use the computers here in school to create that product. And so it will need a good level of um, competency using the computers uh, because this is where you will research, design, and then finally assess the quality of the project that you produced. Um, it will need, um, as a course, a good level of um, written communication um, in terms of um, your English. So again, your, your reading and your writing skills here will really come into play. So I hope you will agree, a really interesting, fun um, course but again, it's not just about watching films. There will be a lot of written work, uh, a lot of reading. But I think you'll agree the different types of media texts will make this an interesting choice uh, for one of your options. So thank you. If you have any other questions, please contact myself or uh, Mrs. Marshall, who will be taking that course next year.